Super Smash Mobs is a game where you choose any mob or array of mobs in Minecraft and you get to play against other players who use the Minecraft mobs as well. And the last to win wins. Is that basic description of the game? Yeah, I winged it. But how's it going, everyone? I'm Keith or Bob. Um, today I want to start a new series called Nerf. That series, which this title of the video is gonna be Nerf Super Smash Mobs, because I, I I play that game a lot and I want to kind of talk about the game and how it's not in a good state. <laughs> player like it's not a good state. I'm not gonna say player wise because. You may look at the game and it's like, oh, there's only 80 players on. And that's usually what it's at, you know, 60 to 80. Well, because it's winter break, it is like that. Which, just to let you know, the game is separating to four players. That's basically a lot of games. So, player-wise, this game's good, but the people in the games are, are pros. Or I call them tryhards. And that's kind of the main issue that I have with this game. Is that for the past couple months in Super Smash Mobs, all you get are tryhards and pros in every game, in every lobby. And Winter Break really shows that because we're all on break, we're all on holiday. Um, we don't start school until you know early in the new year. That's how it always is. And uh, you always fight tryhards and pros, and it's kind of annoying because you just want to fight people that are you know equal skill as you are noobs, but not really like that and the reason why is because Mineplex has been in a decline for years and people are going on to high pixel and they're not playing Mineplex all that much which means no new players well no new many not many players are playing this game or server no new players I should say because they're all going on high pixel so where does that lead me how can you nerf players well the suggestion I have is to have options to choose what player range you want based off of wins like if you want to fight people who have like 0 to 100 wins you can do that but if there is none then it'll send you to the next best thing or the next one which would be i don't know like 200 to 400 and 401 to 600 like you'll keep going up and up and up by 200s until it reaches a thousand it goes a thousand to like five thousand and five thousand ten thousand ten thousand to infinite that's what i suggest yes it will divide the player base but because i'm not the only one complaining about you know fighting pros all the time because it's annoying to fight pros every game if it's like once every 15 games and i'll be like all right that's pretty cool because that's what it was back in the day you didn't really fight pros all that much like a complete pro game but now it happens every day every every game and people are annoyed i'm doing i'm not the only one being annoyed by this other people are complaining about it and i'm and I tell them it's gone for months. Because they are somewhat new players. I, I can look at their stats. They're not pros. They don't have all the achievements. They don't have thousands of wins or hundreds of wins. They just have, you know, like 40 some odd wins or whatever. I think the one person I looked at. And, you know, they may not be new. They may play the game on and off. And I need to tell them it's been like this for months. I've been experiencing it for months. And it's, it's annoying because you just want to have a good time. But if this win range thing works and it'll put the noobs with the noobs and if not then I'll bring it to the next one but if you want to be a try hard you want to play with try hard all the time go with the highest one just please and uh I, I would happily be if this would be a thing but I don't think it would be because um I don't think Mindplex cares about the server all that much I think they're just trying to get as much money as they can because I fear the server's gonna go shut down soon I don't know how long it's gonna last I don't want it to die. I don't want it to get shut down, but if Mineplex has, I don't know how much money Mineplex has, I don't know if they can put money into this. I don't know. Be, I mean, they're do for every game, because no one wants to fight tryhards and pros all the time. They, they really don't. So, that's my first point. Another point are teamers. Um, recently I did fight three people teaming on me, and it's, um, not, not fun. Um, I, this, this rarely happens with three, I mean, usually have like, you know, two people teaming, but having everyone <laughs> go against me, and they were all one kit, they were the snowman kit, one of them was pro, the other two weren't, they were all teaming, and whenever I said, oh, you're teaming, the two or three of them said, that's cringe, so they're obviously teaming, they're all friends, they don't give a crap, 
Um, the one quest I have, one of them was Eternal, I believe. They're up there, they're the pro, they're Eternal. There's something called MPS's, private servers. Go on that then. Are you just doing this to like piss people off? Because it pisses me off. I'm pissed off. I, I, don't, us I don't usually type in, in chat, you, you suck. Because I did that back in the day and it's really hurtful. But I only do it to people that hack and team. And they were, they were teaming. So I said you guys suck. So hopefully they didn't screenshot. Because if they screenshot that and like try to like, get me banned or whatever, I'll be like, you know, you got teaming. You're screwed. I'm in control here. I was in defense that you guys suck, alright? Whoever you are, I know one of them was Eternal. There, there are teamers in this game, and teaming just needs to... I don't know how to fix it. That's another problem that this game has. And it's really stupid sometimes that one of them, one of them is a rank that can make private servers. Why don't you just play in private servers to play with your friends? Why ruin other people's games with doing that? I don't understand. I, I really don't. I'll probably be in a YouTube video. They're probably, probably filming a video. They're probably gonna zoom in on my chat and you guys suck. And I'll be like, oh, there's this new this kid this kid, he doesn't know that I'm making a video. Yeah, screw you. Don't do that. Please. That's not fun. But you know, whatever. Whatever gets you the views. <laughs> whatever. But <laughs> a third option I want to talk about is actually this game is kind of uh what's the word to put it? No problem with this super smash up is the community. And that's with some um, the the kits. And if you don't know, a lot of kits are all different. They have like, unique abilities. But people assume some kits are like OP than others. And the kit that I use is the Blaze Kit. And the Blaze Kit, for people that don't know, are, is notorious for just being overpowered. And yes, it is overpowered. It doesn't. People assume the Blaze can just win every game without trying. It thinks it's like a god, an instant win kit. But like, it isn't. Blaze is actually like one of the weakest kits possible. It, didn't, like, it takes five or six hits for Blaze to die. And a lot of other kits are like stronger. It takes a lot, hit, a lot more hits for Blazes to hit the other kits. And it's like, uh, people just assume that the Blaze can beat everyone and win. I, I, in the last two days, I was like really playing this video. I've, I've only won like twice. <laughs> I kept dying to tryhards. And you know, Blaze has no power, it doesn't instantly win. So, um, I have over 900 wins, I'm almost at 1,000 wins. I, 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 yeah, I still lose constantly. Nah, no, I'm not. I can only fight noobs and average people. I can't fight tryhards. Because I'm not bet Blaze isn't better than tryhards. Every kit in this game is weak, but it's the players that make them overpowered, and I'm just not that good enough to beat tryhards. So, people assume that Blazes are, like, overpowered. The blaze itself isn't overpowered, it's weak. It's a person who uses the Blaze to win the game, and that's how they're overpowered. Which, if you're, which, you know, I've talked to a lot of people about it over the years, and, you know, some people think blazes are, you know, unfair, because, you know, they're kind of, a lot of lag machines, because, you know, one of their abilities has a lot of particles to it, and it, it lags people, I understand that, so it is kind of unfair for them. I had that problem as well with the snowman kit, because it puts snow in the ground, it gets crates and removes blocks all the time, and it, it's nice when you, you kill them, and it's like, you get four seconds of just relief, your game actually, you know, it doesn't lag, and it just lags again, it's just, I understand, no, nothing I can do about it, that's my and Plex's fault for making them this, having particles, you know, I'm not saying about everyone, but, you know, it's a whole other story, but, um, people are racist, Super Smash Mob is racism, that's how I'm putting it, I don't know if that's the way I'll put it, or if that's true, but there are people out there who target me because I'm a Blaze, and that is kind of wrong because Blaze isn't overpowered. I it's it's not kit that's powerful, it's the player who uses it, yet no one most people don't understand that. Because whenever I fight tryhards, they're mostly using free kits. I'm like, wow, these free kits are kind of overpowered, but when you when I use them or any other people use them, they're weak. Now I remember using a skeleton, and a skeleton is considered the most overpowered Yet only when you're skilled enough with it, because I remember using Skeleton and actually being really good with it, so... It's it's not, like I said, it's, it's the player, and people don't understand that, well I'm here to tell you now... Noobs, uh, over players, it's not... Just, just stop targeting Blazes, stop targeting... Stop targeting me, Blazes aren't overpowered, they're just, they're not, they're not like, an instant win kit. 
you actually have to practice, like with every other kit, to get good. So, that's all I have to say. Nerf Super Smash Mobs any way possible, Mindplex. All the tryhards are watching this. Stop using Reach and Optifine. <laughs> no, you don't have to. But, but, make it look like you're not hacking. Because I, I, I can report you, you, you know, people, people probably report hackers. That's another thing. You know, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of the tryhards and pros, they, they look like they're hacking. And I'm like, you gotta stop because you know, I don't want you getting banned. <laughs> like, players playing this game. So, I mean, I don't want you getting banned, falsely banned. For, like, hitting me from, like, eight blocks away. So, I mean, you know, maybe chill. You're not, not in a tournament. You know, maybe don't look like you're hacking and flying and teleporting everywhere, but you know. That's them, not me. I play fair. I actually make it look like that they can win. It's a fair chance for me. <laughs> for the pros. Pros, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, nerf Super Smash Mobs, because those pros kind of ruin the game for everyone, but that's coming from a pro as well. <laughs> so, before I go, I'm a, I'm a pro, yes. Just let you know. This is going to someone who is who has played over 900 wins. I just want to see this game be good again. Having mix, not just pros, but like noobs, average, seeing a mix of them. Fighting, fighting them all the time, fighting pros. It's not fun. I just want it to be, you know, a nice, enjoyable ride, not a sweat fest. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, then hit like, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm gonna go now. So goodbye. Yeah, I confess, father, I confess Cause I've been living wrong